We're gonna get to all the <laughs> benefits of Time Tea shortly, including <laughs> one of the most well-known benefits, coughing. <sighs> But first, let's look at the nutritional values of thyme tea. Now you may have heard that thyme is high in vitamin K, C, and A, or that it has lots of iron. But unless you're having a full tablespoon of dried thyme, you're really not getting that much vitamin E goodness. One tablespoon of dried thyme contains about 39% of your daily recommended needs for vitamin K. But thyme only has 2% of your daily vitamin C, and even less than that for any other vitamins. What's more interesting about thyme is that it has various phytonutrients. Phytonutrients, phytonutrients, phytonutrients. According to one study, Thyme made it into the top five teas for its antioxidant power. The most important antioxidant though is Thyme's primary essential oil, thymol. We're gonna be covering more about thymol as we go along, so keep on watching. There have been studies that show how thyme can suppress the anti-inflammatory agent, COX-2. Does that sound naughty to anyone or is it just me? Naughty. Comment below. Another great oil in thyme tea is Carvacol. Carvacol. Carvacrol. It's a weird name. Which has been shown to have similar anti-inflammatory properties to Reservatrol, that happy compound that you find in red wine. Carvacrol has been shown to help ease anti-inflammatory problems like gout and arthritis. While thyme tea gets most of its recognition for fighting coughs, historically thyme has been used in a variety of ways for its antimicrobial I can't say anything correctly today. Historically thyme has been used in a variety of ways for its antimicrobial properties. Some people even believe that the name thyme derives from the Greek term meaning to fumigate. The Romans used it against poisons and to cleanse the air. It was also used to combat the Black Plague of the 1340s. And it was even used to disinfect the air of hospitals before World War I. And the reason's simple. Time is actually a very powerful germ fighter. While the research on time tea is more limited, the experts believe that the general benefits of time do extend to the tea as well. Just in different forms. Have you ever had food poisoning? Several studies have shown how thyme can help against foodborne bacteria like Salmonella and Staphylococcus by both preventing and fighting off infections. There's also studies confirming how thyme is a good food preservative and decontaminant, fighting organisms like Shugala which can cause bad intestinal damage and diarrhea. And to top it all off, several studies have shown that thyme can help against various foodborne or airborne forms of mold. Thyme tea's anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties are known to help with stomach bugs, promote digestion, improve liver function, treat intestinal infections, and normalize bowel movements. Thyme does have many benefits for skin, however, big caveat here, most of them involve using an essential oil or thyme tincture. Well then, what does that mean for thyme tea? It means that the benefits for atopic dermatitis and eczema are possible, you probably just won't get the same or as effective results as using a cream or essential oil. However, thyme tea can actually be effective for things like acne, due to its antibacterial effect, which, according to some studies, comes in stronger than benzyl peroxide, the active ingredient in many acne creams and washes. Yes, some may find the cream or tincture form of thyme more effective. Thyme tea still can provide some help, especially to those who have problems with that direct-to-skin application of products. Okay, it's time to address those coughing issues. <coughs> I talked about the anti-inflammatory and antibacterial benefits first because it's really both of those things that enables time to be as effective as it is against coughing and other respiratory problems. There have now been multiple studies showing how thyme tea can help with coughing, sore throats, short-term bronchitis, and congestion. There was even a study showing it to be particularly effective at fighting coughs and acute bronchitis when mixed with IV. The German Commission E, Drugs.com, and even the famous University of Maryland Medical Center all agree that time is great for coughs and congestion. I would drop a mic now, but the one my wife owns is really expensive. Yeah, don't even think about it. See? Research has shown that time has the ability to slow down beta amyloid, thanks to apigenin. Apogee, pedigree, perogee. <laughs> another high quality component of time. So what this really means is that time can help delay the onset of Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and depression. The improved neural connections encouraged by time tea can also help with your memory and focus. There is even research suggesting that time, 
could help with neurological conditions like dyslexia. One 2013 study showed that Carvacrol can help increase serotonin and dopamine. And if you're new to the dopamine party, it's one of the primary substances that helps boost your mood. This chair is really creaky. This was an animal study, so there is room to discover more. But I still love the idea that time tea can get you in the mood to party hardy. Party hardy. Man, I'm getting old. Thought time tea's benefits were done? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Research shows how time can help against common yeast infections like Candida, also known as thrush. And in some cases, it was found to be effective even when the prescription medication fluconazole wasn't. There's actually been a plethora of studies recently going into the benefits of time for cancer. While they point to time and time T being able to help with malignant tumors, breast and colon cancer, the evidence so far is just a little too flimsy. At the very least, time is probably just going to be another weapon to help you stave off cancer. But if you're expecting it to stop cancer in its tracks, yeah, that's like asking someone to stop a speeding semi-truck. Not going to happen. Slightly lessen the spread of uh, uh, genital herpes. Probably not the first thing that comes to mind when you think of time T, but here we go. A 2007 and 2017 study found that thymol, thymol alert, thymol alert, thymol and thyme T had significant antiviral potency against herpes simplex 2. Experts say it means it could help primarily ease herpes legions and sores. Much like with cancer, it's not gonna cure your herpes. This is a bummer, man. That's, uh, that's a bummer. But any help it does provide is definitely a good thing. There are lots of other herbal teas out there making the rounds as potential weight loss aids. Time tea and its little buddy thymol might very well be one of the best. Research thus far has found that time tea could help with hunger levels and a cornucopia of different factors that help with weight loss. These include improving insulin levels, leptin sensitivity, lowering lipid action, reducing fat accumulation, and even some evidence points to it helping boost your metabolism of fat cells as well. When it comes to women, time tea can be a bit of a two-headed monster. No, two-sided coin? That makes no sense. Two-edged uh, weapon? I don't know. I'm totally lost now. When it comes to women, Time T is a bit of a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That works. On one hand, Time T is known to ease menstrual cramps and mood swings. On the other hand, it's not recommended during pregnancy as it's been known to cause miscarriages. However, on the flip side of that, it's often recommended at the end of pregnancy for those looking to encourage labor. How can there be more? This video's been hard enough already. Time tea can be great at protecting your oral and dental health, and time has often been integrated into toothpaste and mouthwashes for this purpose. Need a healthy heart? Brew some time tea. People even use time tea as a topical wash for wounds and bites. Speaking of bites, Time has been shown to be an effective deterrent for pests like rats, mosquitoes, and other animals too. In fact, according to the EPA, thyme has been used in various pesticides for this purpose. You can even possibly use thyme tea to help with fibromyalgia, vertigo, high blood pressure, shingles, hepatitis, multiple sclerosis, and even my personal favorite problem, tinnitus, or tinnitus, however you want to say it. I say personal favorite problem because I have tinnitus and you know, actually it sucks, so I guess I just need more time tea. According to the FDA, time is considered generally safe for use. Yippee! But just like any herb, there are some side effects that might affect certain folks, like those with migraines, as Carvacrol and Thymol have been listed as possible triggers for migraines. Some people have also been known to experience nausea, heartburn, diarrhea, or vomiting. But this is primarily those people who are actually allergic to thyme or other members of the Lamiaceae family. Other than that, I already mentioned the pregnancy problems, so you should be good to go. Dried thyme leaves are fine to drink, but the process that the herbs go through to make those little jars you find in the grocery store don't make them very palatable for drinking. Instead, you'll want to find dried thyme leaves from a tea distributor, make it yourself, or just use several fresh springs of clean thyme. If you're taking the thyme off the plant yourself, you want to remove the leaves from the woody stems. If the stems are green, you can actually put that in the tea. After that, brew it at five to eight minutes of boiling, or a little longer if you like it stronger. And while you're enjoying your thyme tea, you can watch this video to learn more about thyme. Be kind, take care of each other, and have the time of your life. Thyme tea, that is. Time puns are just too easy.